Hi, Mr. Capito, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Oh, good evening to you. Good evening to your listeners. Um, the power outages, I don't know, do you also face the same? Perhaps you live in an area where you are not affected, but the generality of people who have spoken to us have said they are experiencing power outages which have not been explained or they have not been forewarned. And this is becoming a problem. From the cons- consumer point of view, what do you have to say about what's happening? You know, it is a very sad day for a consumer who uh, needs for the electricity to stay on, whether for personal use or for commercial purpose. Look, uh, as the last thing that you read from the ECG, I, I agree with them. It was a special we- uh, rainstorm. So if uh, power outages happen, uh, it can be repaired within the shortest time possible. It's not unique to Ghana. It happens in even the advanced countries whereby uh, a storm can knock a lot of powers down, uh, uh, power lines down. But the pertinent thing is uh, this uh, uh, weather definite or indefinite situation that a consumer faces. Look, I will wish that ECG can come up with a timetable. But if you look at it, as we all know that it is not like before that maybe we had to build some transformers that we knew it would take us a couple of months or some a year to do that, that you can proper plan and bring a, uh, a timetable. Unfortunately, this time, because it's financial, it is difficult for ECG to say that, oh, uh, I will bring a timetable simply because if they bring the timetable today and let's say tomorrow or the day after, money becomes available that uh, they are able to either pay uh, the IPPs or the IPPs have money to buy the, the necessary uh, fuel to power their uh, uh, plants. Uh, then what happens to the timetable? That, I think, is the challenge that ECG is, face, is facing. Because, yes, they will, ECG is in the business. Let me repeat. ECG is in the business to sell you electricity. When ECG gets the electricity, ECG has no need, apart from selling, selling it to you, the consumer, or to anybody that needs it. So when people sometimes behave as if ECG has the power and they are doing something purposely of not uh, uh, distributing it, I find it a little, bit, a little bit difficult. Let me tell you the chain of, uh, as, as most people know, the IPPs, Greco, who, who is in the middle, and ECG is the last end to sell you electricity. If the IPPs are unable to generate and Greco is not able to uh, uh, transmit, how do you expect the uh, ECG to get it to distribute it to your house? So it is a problem that the minister uh, what the last person was saying. I think it's, it is in the bosom of the minister for the minister to make sure that whatever situation that we are in, fortunately, this is not like before that we needed months to build plants or to bring plants in. This is something that is financial and we need to find money to fix this problem. So you are, you are essentially saying that we should cut ECG some slack? We, we should cut them some slack for the simple reason, like I said, they are in the business to sell you electricity. If they don't get electricity, how do you expect ECG to sell it to you and I? Because somebody should generate. Somebody should be able to uh, transport or trans, uh, 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 transmit. And then he needs to retail. It's just like a, a distribution chain. The manufacturer the wholesaler, and the retailer. If the manufacturer doesn't manufacture and the wholesaler doesn't get the goods, how do you expect the retailer to be able to sell you the goods? But the retailer has been collecting money from you that he will supply you the goods. He owes you you that information at least that he can bring you the goods. No, no, that's that's what I want to agree with you. They need to tell us why they are unable to get us the power. I agree with you 100%. You cannot take my money and not tell me why you cannot sell me the goods that I need. That one, I agree with you. But all I'm saying is somebody, like people are talking about institutions, right? It's the Ministry of Energy that all these things falls under. And the Ministry of Finance. Look, we need money. It's as simple as that. 
It's not like before. And it's all because, as usual, politics in Ghana. Somebody is able to be bold and pro Ghanaians and listen, this is the situation. We apologize. We are sorry. We will fix it. Give us some time. Because they are afraid that some time ago, they used it against another, another political party that now, instead of doom so, it's forward. Doom CAC. It doesn't make any sense to the average Ghanaian. All the Ghanaian consumer wants is let there be light. Even God was so much afraid of darkness. When he created the world, he didn't say let there be water. He said let there be light. <laughs> Now that there are calls for demonstrations against the government, is that something you would be interested in leading? You know, uh, if somebody can put it together, I will join them. Because ideally, uh, it is funny how the Ghanaian consumer, sometimes, uh, even if you call them to come and demonstrate, sometimes will disappoint you. Because there's too much on the plate of the Ghanaian. Or the, that maybe this time, a lot of Ghanaians, and across board, this should not be something against a particular party. It's about the government in power, which the government in power somehow has, has failed to do what they promised when they were in opposition. You remember when they told us that Doomsaw would be a turn of the past? And after seven years, why are we going to it again? So it is in the right direction if anybody calls for demonstration. But you will, not, you will not initiate it because you are not sure people will come. Because you know what? You and I, let's start today. Okay, let's encourage Ghanaians that, yes, we are going to do a demonstration. But you, once you have to understand, doing a protest or a demonstration, there's rules and regulations. First, I need to write to the police people to tell them that maybe I expect 100, 1,000 people that they also tell us that, oh, maybe we can accommodate you. Yes, yeah, sometimes you write to them and they tell you that they cannot do it. But I hope that this time, even I'm sure the police are not even happy about this situation that is going on. So maybe I, I, I'll take your advice. We would, uh, I'll engage CTFM. Let us use your platform. Let us engage Ghanaians that maybe when me and CTFM come to an agreement, we could say maybe we can start a process. And then look, let Yvonne Nelson, let Imani, let all interested people come together. Then it will be a Ghanaian representation, not something against a particular party. Thank you so much for speaking to us, sir. Thank you. That's Kofi Capito. He's CEO of the Consumer Protection Agency. Let's go to.